Hello friends, welcome back. I had such a good time doing the Dragon Warrior Randomizer C the other day that I wanted to do another one. This will be the same flags as last time, which is pretty much just the default flags, uh, other than cosmetic differences. Uh, I will go ahead and use my name this time. My pseudonym. Uh, I'll be spelling it with a lowercase d for secret reasons. And I'll be using a different sprite. Uh, this is one of the two hero sprites from Dragon Quest IV, which I thought was pretty cool looking, stands out, and uh, is thematically appropriate. You can also be like Pac-Man or Pac-Man Ghosts, but I like playing a character who at least looks like they belong in the world. Alright, Descendant of Erdrick, listen to my words, Ball of Light, blah blah blah. So like last time, uh, the only vetting I did of this seed was I made sure that the castle did not spawn in the middle of a swamp or behind an impassable swamp just because of how difficult that makes things early on. In fact, let me go ahead and show you like my, my vetting process. So I, like, I didn't open those chests or, or anything. I, I didn't look at my stats. I mean, I can see my stats there, 25 HP. Uh, 8 MP. That doesn't tell me that much. Uh, I went down the stairs, and okay, surrounded by mountains, not a swamp, good deal. And that's it. That's all the vetting that I did. Just so you can see my process there. And now, of course, I have to restart because, uh, because I lost whatever was in those treasure chests. But just to give you an, an idea of how little information I have going into this, Alright, let's see what goodies I get this time. Let's grab my key. I tend to forget that menu wrapping is enabled. Uh, you can press up to wrap from the top row to the bottom row on the menus. It doesn't wrap from left to right though, just, just up and down. Maybe that's why I forget about it. Because it, it only wraps the one direction. Fighter's Ring, okay. Not as good as Erdrick's Armor. And fairy water, okay. So the fighter's ring is an item that you find uh, in the mountain cave in Vanilla Dragon Warrior. And in the original game, it didn't do anything. Uh, it doesn't actually have an effect other than uh, changing one of the NPC's dialogue. Actually, that might not even be in the original Dragon Warrior. Uh, that might just be in the remake, but basically, in the remake, at least with the fan translation, I assume is faithful to the original, uh, there's an NPC in Breconary who advises you to find the fighter's ring, and then if you find it, put it on, go back and talk to him, he makes fun of you for, for wearing a ring. So I think it was meant to be a joke item. I, I don't think it was ever meant to do anything. Like, I, I don't think it's a bug, uh, but regardless, uh, in the randomizer, they quote-unquote fix the bug, and it now gives you two additional points of attack power. So you can see there, my strength is 10, my attack power is 12. So that's that's all the fighter's ring does. Uh, well, I start with Radiant. That, that's pretty useful. Um, I'm gonna say, the starting items in the seed, not as useful as Erdrick's armor and a magic key. Uh, that's going to make starting out a little bit more difficult, a little slower. Uh, actually, it depends on if there's a town nearby and if there is a reliable source of gold. Um, yeah, so it totally depends on what the outside world looks like here. A magician? Well... I will punch you with my fighter's ring. Okay, the magician doesn't seem to have any actual magic. 
Oh, I should unmute the game here. All right, good start. Magic points increased by four. No new spells. Well, at least I don't have to worry about losing gold because I didn't start out with any gold. So the, uh, the beginning here might involve quite a few deaths. I am probably not strong enough to fight a wolf. Okay, death number one. Those of you at home keeping track of deaths, increase the counter by one. All right, the magic dracky has hurt. Not much I can do as far as strategy goes here. Unfortunately. Okay, so it looks like the best monster I have here in the starting zone is the Magician. Because it seems to not hit that hard and not have any magic. Or if it does have magic, it was not rolling good numbers. So it, it wasn't using it. But, starting out with 10 strength, uh, I'm still only doing 1-2 to two points of damage. Yeah, so my, my best experience in gold monster right now gives me 8 and 16, respectively. Alright, little power boost, some more hit points, new spell. Could be extremely useful. Hey, heal and heal more. So this means that I can basically grind for experience and gold uh, around the castle because once I'm low on health, I can return to the castle, cast heal more on myself, and uh, get my MP back. So, you know, if it comes down to it, then I will use that option. Uh, actually, let's... Uh I mean, not that I have a reason to accrue gold at the moment. Because I still haven't found a town. I still haven't survived long enough to find a town. But let's heal more myself. And get my MP back. Still only 14 MP, so I can only cast heal more once. And then a couple regular heal spells on top of that. Okay, I was just curious uh, what happens if you try to use a non-battle spell in battle. It, it just tells you uh, that it cannot be used there. Hey, five points of damage, not bad. Because if you try to use a spell that's not applicable on the world map, it'll just uh, it'll use the magic points anyway, and say nothing happens. But nice of it not to make you waste a turn in battle. Uh, I should run from a, a Magidraki. Also, Radiant only cost two. Uh, I think... I think it cost five in the original, in, in Vanilla Dragon Warrior. I, I'm not even going to try to fight this knight. I'm sure I won't do any damage to her, right? Yeah, one. I mean, even though it's just casting hurt on me... Ugh. I forgot to unmute the sound again. I'll, I'll do that now. 45 points of damage. Right off the bat. And I don't have a fairy flute to help out the next time. Uh, I encounter a golem. Yeah, all things considered, the, the start of the previous seed was pretty generous. Giving me, you know, good armor. key and a way to acquire more keys 
Oh, I should have just done regular heal. There's no reason to do heal more yet until I until I have more hit points. Oh, there's a town and a cave down here. Let's see if the town is Hawksness. Hopefully not. It is Hawksness. That is a bummer. Let's see what the cave is. Uh, this is... Is this Garen's grave? I think so. Well, I cannot really fight Drolls yet. I can't really fight much of anything yet. Yeah, I'm always conflicted at the start of a seed like this because probably the most useful thing I could do would be just walking around in zone zero which is the informal name for the zone around the castle and just get a few levels so I can at least start fighting you know medium level enemies get a little bit more strength I mean not medium level but not not slimes oh crap oh, I got sleep That'll make it easier to run from some enemies. It's the main thing I use sleep for. If I would like a somewhat guaranteed run, I mean, it's not guaranteed that sleep will work. I think almost every enemy has at least one uh, sleep resist. Oh, yeah, when I die often in the early game, I end up muting the sound a lot. Not, not that it's super important, but I do like having the sound effects. I'd like to find a real town. That would be nice. But who knows how long that's going to take. It's okay. This is expected. You always die a ton early on in a rando seed as you're getting a feel for the land. If I can not get an encounter every stop, that would be super. Thank you. Alright, let's see if I can figure out what... Oh, never mind. Should probably tr at least try putting more of these enemies to sleep. I don't have a great feel for which enemies are vulnerable to sleep and which ones resist the resist it. I don't think there are that many enemies that have straight up like you know 97% or 93% sleep resist. I think there are there are a couple, but they're pretty few and far between. Like let's see if this metal scorpion can be put to sleep. Yeah, I can't actually deal damage to it, of course. Uh, but for a couple MP, I get a guaranteed run.
All right, is this Guren's grave? Give me just a sec here. Uh, no, this is... Oh, hang on a sec. No, it's not Erdrick's cave, because there are enemies here. Oh yeah, it is Garen's grave. I was looking at the wrong... The, the start position on my map isn't labeled super well. Okay, well, there are some chests that are not too far away. You never find a weapon in a chest, um, but there is one chest in the mountain cave. that has a large shield in it. That would be pretty useful, having some early de defense. Okay, Metal Scorpions seem pretty susceptible to sleep, so that's good. Although, running away from all these fights does burn through my MP pretty fast. No effect! Oh, that's disappointing. So yeah, the chest could be, uh, you know, it could be Erdrick's sword or, or Erdrick's armor, or it could be a large shield, which would be immediately useful. It could be gold, which is sadly probably more likely, which uh, is helpful as soon as I find somewhere to spend it. With the, the gold men, I think they might be relatively easy to run from. So it might be better to just try to run instead of trying to put them to sleep first. Torch. Stones of Sunlight. Quest item. And another torch. So one thing that I forgot about with the default randomizer flags is they added... Uh, a second use for the torch. If you use it as an item in combat, like you throw it at the enemy and it does, I think, a fixed amount of damage to them. That's not like related to their defense or anything. It's not much damage. But given, you know, a bad starting situation, it might be better than nothing. So yeah, I managed to kill a metal scorpion there by throwing a couple torches at it. So, that's something. No new spells. Okay, do I want to try going deeper into Garenham? Well, no, I can't because I don't have any magic keys yet. So, for right now, this is the best that I can do here. Uh... I want to go... This way. Okay, well, that is a resource, at least. I can come back into this cave and... ...and get some more torches. It's better than nothing. Not much better. Okay, I'm punching these Drakis for a decent amount of damage now. Yeah, I think one of the biggest problems with the randomizer is how unlikely it is for uh, for the starting location to appear next to a town.
Like, I think having a castle right next to a town is kind of essential for starting out. Because, like, if the starting chests just have gold in them, then that's almost completely useless. Unless you get lucky and happen to start near a town. And I think in later games, uh, like, you come back to Castle Tantagel in later Dragon Warrior games. Okay, a Drachima is fightable. But yeah, you come back to Castle Tantagel, and the castle is actually part of the town, instead of being like a separate thing on the map. Uh, I don't actually know what warlocks do yet. They cast hurt more. Now I know. Nice crit. Yeah, I think having an option to have a guaranteed start near a town would make a lot of seeds a lot less frustrating because you would you would at least have something, you know. You would have a place to go to I mean rest, you know, heal because if you don't start with the heal spell uh Hmm, can I fight drills yet? Oh, they have hurt. And I'm not doing a ton of damage. They have heal more. Alright, screw you, Droll. Oh. <laughs> I took one step too many. I was about to, uh, about to heal myself so I could continue walking. Oh well. But yeah, either start near a town or have, have someone who can restore your health in the castle. Alright, decent HP and MP boost. Still no damaging spells yet. Oh, red slimes have hurt more? That sucks, that's not fair. Totally robbed. I should have won that fight if it didn't dodge. Yeah, I cannot give the red slimes a chance to cast hurt more. is defended by a slime and a wolf ow all right actual town and it's breconary all right what you got for me shopkeep well i can get a club and after i grind a little bit more i can get some clothes Oh, my spray changed. Oh, that's cool. I mean, it's carrying a sword, not a club, but I mean, for the NES, just having the spray change at all is still pretty impressive. Huh. Uh, ch -ch -ch -ch. That's what I wanted. Status. So, between the club and my fighter's ring, uh, that's an extra. Six points of uh, points of attack power. 
I guess that's nothing to sneeze at. I can sell this berry water. I don't think the fighter's ring sells for that much. N not enough to be worth it. Until I need to get it out of my inventory. Yeah, 15 gold. Meh. I sell the fairy water though for 19 gold. How does fairy water sell for more than a magic ring? See, that, that just says to me that that ring was never intended to be a useful item. It was always a joke. Oh, I can buy clothes now. Oh, I was just, uh, I was playing Dragon Quest 3, the Super Famicom version recently, and I stumbled across this town, and, uh, it really hit me how, like, kind of haunting and creepy this music is. Because, uh, the village has a curse on it where everyone's asleep, and in the NES version of Dragon Warrior 3, it's just the same town music, but this is, like, a really creepy... Like, cursed remix of it, almost. With, like, some haunting wind sound effects in the background. I really like it. Yeah, that's, that's a good-ass game. I need to get back to it. This lady reassuring me that she's not Princess Whalen. I know that. So this guy asked for proof that I'm the descendant of Erdrich, so I assume if I talk to him after I find Erdrich's token, uh, or Erdrich's marker or whatever, that dialogue will change. Oh, that, that guy just wished me well. That's nice of him. Yeah, I was wondering if that NPC is in this version of the game, the one who makes fun of you for wearing a ring. I, I don't think he is. Or if he was, they, they might have changed the dialogue. Yep. Danger will become you if you cross a bridge. And this lady just sells fairy water. Okay, yeah, I guess that NPC is in here. Oh well, let's buy some clothes so I don't have to run around in the buff. I almost never buy this stuff in Vanilla Dragon Quest, uh, but in this case, I don't know when I'll find anything better. Hey, I crit a wolf! That's pretty good. Nice. So, yeah, crits are supposed to be based on like a 1 in 32 random roll. But I wonder if the randomizer... Like, if it affects some of these random variables at all. Because, like, in the last seed, I felt like I was getting surprised way more than I should have been. So I wonder if the randomizer, like... Kinda nudges those die rolls in one direction or another. I don't know. It would be nice if, uh, you know, it nudged them in my favor this time. 
yeah, I won't be able to buy anything else from the shop for a long time. But I'll go ahead and take a snooze. It only costs three gold in Breconary. Six gold. Costs three in the remake. I did have a good night, thank you. I wonder if I should buy some torches. I think I will. I'm a little hesitant to fill my inventory up with torches because they don't stack. But since this... You know, now that I actually have a way to get rid of them, other than selling them or using them in a dark cave, you know, if I need to get an item out of my inventory, all I have to do is get into a fight and throw a torch at someone. Hmm. Is the max inventory size is eight? Why did I, why did I think it was ten? Oh! Okay, so I guess herbs and magic keys get their own special slot on the item list. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so it's, so it's herbs, magic keys, which you can have six a piece of, plus eight other items. Okay. So, technically a max of ten, but uh, two of the slots can, can only contain herbs and magic keys. Okay, good to know. That's not south of Tanta, Joe. You liar. Why would you make up a heinous lie like that? Don't you know I'm the descendant of Erdrich? Well, the skeleton has baby breath. Stop breathing fire on me. It's really painful. Maybe maybe I should put the skeleton to sleep first. And then hurl some torches at it. I like how it even says hurl the torch. very evocative. Alright, I have three more torches. Getting surprised an awful lot again. Too early to tell if it's going to be a trend. <laughs> Duke adjusted the position of the fighter's ring. Oh, I just did 11 to that Magidraki. I guess Magidrakis aren't that much of a threat. Kind of interesting that this is a default flag now, because it's, it's a pretty major change to the rules of Vanilla Dragon Quest. Like, the only item you could use in battle in Vanilla Dragon Quest is a torch. So the fact that they give you another item you can use, that seems like a big deal.
How much damage do I actually do to this thing? Okay, so Torch is still the better option against a wolf. Ow! Nice power boost there. Nice hit point boost. <laughs> nice magic point boost. So yeah, the reason I spelled my name with a lowercase d is because your starting stats in this game are determined by a, a formula based on the letters in your name. So there is a very slight, slight difference in character development based on what name you enter. and. With uh, with my name spelled like that with the lowercase d, it's what's it's what's called a strength and HP build, meaning that uh, early on, the stats that are favored for leveling up are uh, agility and magic points, and then in the long run, the favored stats are strength and HP, and. It's generally considered that a strength and HP build is better uh, because th those are the important stats to have late in the game. Uh, because, ow, don't cast hurt more on me. I still don't have stop spell, that's a bummer. Alright, he's just gonna keep hurt more on me. Can I put you to sleep? I can. I can put you to sleep and then beat you up. But yeah, that's why, uh, that's why I spelled the name the way I did. Oh, can't really put a wyvern to sleep. I can get owned by a wyvern. So yeah, uh, for my last, my last seed with the name Link, uh, it was, uh, I think it was an HP MP build, and that's why my hit points and magic points were roughly the same by the end of the game. Um, so I have more hit points than magic points right now. Huh. Maybe this is a strength and MP build? Or, or maybe... Maybe you just always have naturally more hit points than magic points at the beginning? I'm not sure. But anyway, by the end of the game, my uh, my strength and hit points should be the the largest uh, stats, that, stats that, that I have, if I'm understanding correctly. Of course, the randomizer adds... adds its own spin on the stats. So, who knows, you know, how much that actually affects it. Here in him? Alright, so I'm full up on herbs. And I still, still have a couple torches if I need them. Which, you know, I won't need them at all for, for spelunking purposes since I have Radiant. Okay. Leather armor, chainmail, hand axe. All this stuff is relatively within reach. Still no magic keys, so I can't see what's in Garen's grave yet. Alright, I'm starting to do a decent amount of damage with this club. Starting to take a decent amount of damage with my clothes.
Alright, I can one-shot a Magidraki. I think randomizer races can be very luck-dependent. Like, a lot of... how well you do... Oh, I can't fight a wolf ward. Like, a lot of how well, how well you do in a race will come down to if you explore the right areas first. Like, if, if I had gone east right from the start and, and found Garenham instead of wandering around a little bit, I, I might very well have, you know, had a better start. Not if I keep getting wrecked by Axe Knights, though. The Earth is angry. Yeah, it is. And rightly so. I'd be angry too if I was the Earth. Hey, Scorpion, haven't seen you in a while. Just your... your metal brethren. Okay, that's just a big ol' swampy peninsula with nothing on it. Oh, you mean like Florida? Owned. I deserve that. One thing I learned browsing the randomizer discord a little bit is that uh, a common shorthand for Axe Knights is AK. And then for Armor Knights, they're known as AK-47s, which I thought was kind of cute. Because, I mean, you can't just call it an AK as well, because, you know, how do you know if you're talking about Armor Knight or Axe Knight? So the Armor Knight is like an upgraded version of it. So how much did I need for... I can get a hand axe for like 560, right? That should probably be, be my next goal. Yeah, outside of combat, it's still... Well... So that was 6 magic points. And I'm not at full health. And if I had just cast heal more, that would have been eight, and I probably probably would be at full health. So yeah, heal more is probably the the, the better move right now. All right, so this is the guy who wants the harp, right? Uh, I still I still get my old my old men confused sometimes. Yeah. So all right, try to remember where where these things are located. That's the thing that I have the hardest time with in Randomizer is just remembering the locations of things. It'd be nice if some of these super strong enemies would give me a break with the surprise rounds. Maybe I should try putting the AKs to sleep.
Wait, I want to explore a bit. I don't want to just grind Drakis forever, you know? No effect. All right, actually, let me... I have the the document here with with all the weaknesses and resistances and whatnot, and I'm pretty sure a randomizer doesn't change any of them except for resistance to stop spell. So Axe Knight, yeah, they have a, a 15 out of 16 sleep resist. So don't want to bother trying to put those to sleep. What about Armor Knight? Yeah, fit, okay, so knights, uh, so what's, what's a good mnemonic to, rem to remember that? Like, knights are re resistant to sleep, like they don't sleep at night, because they're knights. I know these things are pretty, uh, pretty vulnerable to sleep. Yeah, their the resist is 2 out of 16, or 1 out of 8. That's math. Nice little agility boost. Not getting a ton of magic. Alright, that's, that's Florida over there, don't need to go back there. Yeah, red dragons resist everything. Like, as much as possible. Like, nothing has 100% re resist to anything, but, you know, 15 out of 16 might as well be 100%. Uh, do I want to tank this wolf lord? Might be worth some decent XP. Eh. It's kind of worth it. Druins and Druin Lords are weird. Like, they feel like a late, later game enemy, or like a mid-game mid enemy. But they, they never seem to do much. I don't know, I think in vanilla... Dragon Warrior... They have some nasty abilities. Alright, 289 gold, still pretty good ways from, from buying anything of note. Skeletons healing themselves. It seems so wrong. Undead creatures can't cast heal on themselves. Heal should hurt them. Magic Wyvern. I think these things resist sleep. Let me check real quick. Eventually, I, I will internalize these stats. And I won't have to lift them up all the time. No, they actually don't resist anything. Well, they have one, one out of eight sleep resist. What, what's their vanilla ability? Oh, they cast sleep. 50% 50 50 chance. Okay. Oh, wow, it hurts. Yeah, it sucks that they immediately get an attack when they wake up. It makes that strategy not work so well, of putting them to sleep and fighting them. Maybe that's why I only use sleep as a guaranteed run. Because because they get that free attack on the round that they wake up. 
I guess it's not a free attack. It just it it just doesn't work the way you usually think of sleep working in RPGs. Like normally, they spend a turn waking up. Actually, that is how it works when you put the golem to sleep with the flute. That's interesting. Nice. Yeah, the Wolf Lord. Probably not actually worth tanking like that. Nothing I can do with the Axe Knights but run away. I like how you get 16 and 25 from the Scorpions. Two nice square numbers. I find that satisfying. Oh. Okay. So, in. No. Golems have 15 out of 16. Resist to everything, right? Because they're a boss. Yeah. Like, the only, the only weakness they have is the. The flute. I guess I could see what's in Hawks Hawksness. I mean, it might not be bad. That's bad. I think the trap tile is always guaranteed to be a very difficult monster though. Like I don't think you're going to get a trap tile with a red slime on it. Red dragon, yeah. It'll be a while before I can see what's in Hawksness. Okay, I think my, my next goal should just be saving up enough for the axe. Because that would be fairly significant upgrade over the club. This seems like seems like a part of the world that's lousy with golems and axe knights. Tanking Goldman might actually be a good move right now. Yeah, one more one more Goldman and I can upgrade my weapon. Wonder how likely they are to spawn around here. No, not Golem. Goldman. Ooh, I don't know if I like this music. It might be a little too zany for me.
Yeah, let's skip this one. There we go. G O D. Big power boost. Big hit point boost. And I learned hurt. And outside. Not. I like this tune. I feel like there's big parts of the world I'm just missing. Well, let's go by that axe. Was there one in... In uh, Breconary, or do I have to go to Garenham for that? I forget. I'm not interested in fighting stone men. Gold men? I'm not stone men. X. Okay, and next goal should probably be chainmail. I'm gonna have to do some audio adjustment before the next video. Because I know it sounds okay to y'all, because I did a, a test recording. But the music is actually a little overpowering in my headphones. Ow. Trying to save up to buy chain mail. Thanks a lot, Golem. Alright, I can one-shot a Metal Scorpion now. Good to see. Uh, Magic Wyvern... Don't have a good feeling about. Alright, three hits. God, they do so much damage. Okay, three or four hits.
The Druin is one of the weirder monster designs in this game. Most of the enemies are based on real or mythological animals. Or, you know, are humanoids of some sort. Like, the Druin and the Droll, I don't know what they're supposed to be. I think the Druin was relocalized in remakes as a lunatic, like Luna hyphen tick, because it looks sort of like a tick, I guess. And I guess the droll is kind of like a snail. Yeah, like, what is that? Like, I don't think it looks that much like a tick. It does look vaguely... insectoid. Okay, well, clearly I'm missing something, because I feel like I've been all over this continent. Well, I got Repel. That should prevent some of these trash mods from hassling me. But, like, I don't know where to go, or where I haven't been. I guess I haven't really explored this... ...this direction that much? Hey, I one-shot a Goldman. That's pretty good. Heck, the chainmail. Maybe I should buy half plate. Yeah, I, ha I feel like I haven't been that way because of all the swamp. But I might be able to avoid the swamp. Like, yeah. By going around. Yeah, I think I started exploring this area. And I just got killed. And scared off. Okay, well, here's the swamp cave. So, I can see what lies on the other side here. Or I can see what's protecting the princess. An axe knight. Not ready for this fight yet, right? Ow. Yeah. I don't know, I might be able to brute force my way through. With heal more. Okay, well... I will... Oh, I don't have keys yet. Right, I need a key. What am I thinking? Is that like a 6 or 8? I got 6, okay. Yeah, I think I was mistaken about that. In the last stream, I, I thought it cost 8. Star Wyverns, probably bad news. Outside, yeah, that would have taken me to the north exit. So I'm actually on the other side of the, the tunnel now, because I entered through the south. Okay. Well, let's see what town this is. <laughs> I like that there's a track in Act Raider just called Satan. Hey, I found Rimmeldar. Nice. That is good to see. Alright, let, let's take a well-deserved rest. See what types of weaponry are, are for sale. Alright, 
Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and buy half plate because I need I need some sort of armor. Because I'm getting slaughtered out there. Do I have torches in my inventory? Yeah. I wanna I'm gonna get rid of these real quick, so excuse me. Uh so I can open that chest and well, I mean I'm sure I'll I'll, I'll have room for whatever's in there, but I just wanna clear out my my inventory a little bit. Second Armageddon. I guess the first one wasn't bad enough. Yeah, it's a lot easier to see what parts of the perimeter of the town you can walk in when it's surrounded by mountains rather than grass. Like, it's a lot easier to not accidentally exit the town while while you're trying to get around okay full up on herbs and magic keys nice all right let's just grab this chest real quick and then after this i can probably death more death warp my way back to the castle but i want to Take at least a quick look around. Empty. Okay, it must be an herb or a magic key. Magic Wyverns seem safe. Probably not Star Wyverns, though. Hey, another town. Oh, here's Cantlin. Sure, I don't have a shield yet. Might as well buy a small shield, and I might as well get the coordinates. All oh, right, this stuff really hurts. <laughs> I forgot about this uh, because I, I had Erdrich's armor the last time. Okay, well I can tank my way through here with uh, with heal more. But it does like 13 points of damage per step, unlike the swamp, which is 2 damage per step. Oh, 7 south and 12 east. That should be easy to find. I'm gonna just take a quick note here. So I might not need, need to save the princess at all for this run. If you finish the game without saving the princess, she does end up mysteriously saved by the end of the game. Alright, um, you can't cast outside in a, in a town, right? No. It'd be nice if you could. Well, I could just death warp my way back to the castle. Yeah, I think that's what I'll do. Because I have keys. I have the coordinates. And I know how to get back there. Alright. 7 south, 12 east. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 1.
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Death necklace. Not my first choice of item to find, but should sell for a lot. All right, how many keys do I have? Three. So I can open the, tr the treasury and the other door, and I should have enough to buy two more magic keys or at least one which will, which will be enough empty all right that must have been an herb some gold first belt hey Erdrich's token gonna need that sooner or later But yeah, no princess required on this run. Good deal. Oh yeah, uh, I got a ton of gold so I can just fill up on keys. Alright, well that went pretty well. If you go through this damage floor area, I don't know why, why a castle would have one of these or a town. Just parts of the floor that mysteriously do a ton of damage but basically the guards say you know only the bravest can go through here and if you if you can survive the guy on the other side says okay now you're strong enough for uh for Garen's grave so sort of a little pe test of strength before uh before the next kind of challenge in the game Okay, uh, this is... Can I fight a regular knight? I can, especially if they just cast Hurt. That was fortunate. Is this Garen's grave? No, I, I already found Garen's grave. Ray, this is the mountain cave. Okay. Well, there might be a couple useful items here. I mean, there, there's quite a few chests here. So, let's, uh, let's explore. Hopefully the knights just keep casting hurt. Nope. That one decided to get feisty, but I was able to two-shot it, which is nice. First belt. How's my inventory looking here? Alright, I have room for two more items. At least with the equipment, you don't have to worry about having an, an inventory slot open. Because that's all off in its own separate section. A uh, uh, skeleton. Oh no. Oh, my spray has a, a shield as well. That's cool. There are separate sprays for uh, weapon, shield, and, and nothing. I assume if, if I didn't have a weapon but I had a shield, my spray would just have a shield. That's pretty cool. Torch. And some gold. Ditch this torch. I don't need that crap. Oh. I threw a torch at a metal scorpion and it ran away. I guess I'd run away if someone threw a torch at me. 
especially a lit torch. Ultima for the Super Nintendo. Wait, is that, what, is that Ultima 1? Surely they wouldn't have ported Ultima 1 to the Super Nintendo. This must be like a... Like a, one of those Japanese-only side games like they have with all the Wizardry games. Wait, what? Did I somehow trigger that, that chest glitch? Like, there's a glitch where the memory of Dragon Warrior can only keep track of a certain number of open chests at a time. Huh. So if this chest had gold in it, because of, because of this glitch, which a lot of people... Like, a lot of people will intentionally exploit this glitch um, to do what's called a gold grind. And I didn't really worry about it because I wasn't. I'm not really interested in in playing games by ex by exploiting glitches. Um, if I just happen to stumble across it without you know trying to, then I might take advantage of it. But uh, it, so it said that I found a bamboo pole, but it was actually an herb because the mem the memory addresses get all weird and discombobulated. So, uh, so if I use an herb and I have room, <clears throat> room to get another one, then, uh, you know, it says bamboo pole, but it, but it's actually an herb. Take this tune. Some good dungeon crawling music. Yeah, like the droll is like kind of a snail, but its its eye stalks are coming out of its shell, which which look, looks pretty creepy. Um. All right, I think that's all the chests. Yeah, usually the way you exploit the the chest glitch is by opening a certain number of caves in the mountain cave and then dying, and that warps you back to Tantagel Castle. But it doesn't reset the number the number of chests that you've opened because that only resets when you leave to the world map. I mean, I don't have a problem with people who who do the gold, you know, the the gold grind glitch. It's uh, oops, just not something. Like I, I don't really necessarily think that it's worth it because gold isn't that important anyway. Um, in the grand scheme of things, but I guess if I was speed running and you know every every second counted. I would be more more inclined to take advantage of a glitch like that. Okay, yeah, so since I opened the chest in the castle, in the treasury, and I went into the mountain cave without resetting the... you know, without leaving to the world map and resetting that, uh, it basically overflowed the number of chests that are, uh, you know, available in memory or, or whatever. I'm not explaining it well, but, uh... Yeah, I, I, I understand why that happened now. Never does a brave person steal. That's true. 
I didn't steal because those treasure chests were, uh, you know, unlabeled. They could have belonged to anyone, you know. I have no reason to believe they were anyone's property. I just found them. Well, I reckon I should buy a broadsword now. Because that, w that would be the next logical step. I one shot wyverns. That's pretty good. And I totally forget if Garenham had a broadsword, or if that was in Breconary. Hey, I killed one. Yeah, no broadsword here. No large shield either. Breconary may not have had a, a broadsword either. There might have been one in Cantlin. For a spell, I need to sell some of this garbage. Alright, I can hold one more item. Fairy water, I'm just gonna use that. Fairy flute, okay. Well, that'll come in handy if I start running into golems. Which I'm sure I will at some point. Alright, sell the death necklace. It's the expensive one. Sell the curse belt for 180. Sell the other curse belt. So, because there are three curse belts, I think what that means is that all three of the search spots have an item. Uh, I was reading up about how the randomizer determines, um, you know, basically what happens if the randomizer doesn't place items uh, on the on the search bots. Uh, or if it does place items on, on the search bots, the chest that would otherwise have held that item has a curse belt instead. Oh, this place doesn't even sell whole plate. I'm sure I'm explaining this stuff terribly, so if anyone has questions about any of the stuff I'm rambling about, just uh, shout me out in the comments and I will try to explain it to the best of my ability. Okay, so this is the guy who fuses the Stones of Sunlight and the Staff of Rain. Yeah, so because I have Erdrick's token, he's actually talking to me instead of just saying, Get the hell out of here. Who are, who are you? Who are you to waste my time? I only talk to the descendant of Erdrick. Get out of here until you come back with a token. Of course, I mean, there's nothing special about me that allowed me to find that token. A guy just said to look somewhere, and I did. I mean, that guy could have gotten the token, or anyone else could have listened to that guy and gotten the token. 
someone could have just stumbled on it by accident. Like, I, I don't, I, I don't feel like it proves as much as they seem to think it proves. Oh, this place doesn't sell anything. Well, sells the flame sword. I almost never buy the flame sword. Because by the time I have that much money, I'm usually about ready to get Erdrick's sword anyway. In the vanilla game. And... Like, the flame sword... It's a good weapon. It's almost as good as, as Erdrick's sword. Like, attack-wise. And it, al it also has an ability. When you use it in battle, it, it casts hurt. Like, not even hurt more, it casts hurt. Which, like, why... Like, at that point, the hurt spell is totally useless, so... Why bother? I mean, it was pretty forward-looking. You know, it was... It was an item that has an activated ability when you use it in battle. It's just not a very useful ability. And, you know, that would become a Dragon Quest staple. Like, that's one of the biggest elements of strategy in a Dragon Quest game, is using those items effectively. And it all started here, with, with the Flame Sword. Hey, I got hurt more. Nice. Alright, there's no reason for me to actually go through the swamp. I mean, I guess I could save the princess, even though there's no reason to now. Like, I'm not speedrunning, there's no... Like, I'm not trying to do this as fast as possible. Hmm. Let's heal more myself and see if I can... Take out the stone man. I mean, I, I should be able to, but it might not be worth it. God, that thing has a lot of health. Alright, I want to look around here a little bit more before I go back through the swamp cave. Okay. Doesn't look like there's that much over here. Other than the swamp cave entrance. Ow. I don't like Axe Knights. Alright, could y'all, like, just leave me alone for, like, five seconds? Like, I'm... 
Not you, Wolf Lord. You're cool. I should have healed. Like, it's so hard to get a an accurate picture. of what this place looks like when I'm just being attacked constantly. A lot of later Dragon Quest games have a progressive run chance where the more you fail to run, the easier it gets to run. Like a lot of them are just a straight, um, like a straight 25% chance to run. And then if that fails, then the next one has a 50% chance. And if that one fails, the next one has a 75% chance. And if that one fails, then you get a guaranteed run after that. So the maximum number of times you can fail to run is, is three. And in this game, it's just a die roll based on a formula. So it's easy to get locked into a loop where you, uh, where you fail to run just an absurd number of times. So since I already have the stun Stones of Sunlight, this guy will probably just tell me to get the hell out of here. Yeah. Thou hast no business here. Go away. Right after I take your magic key. dragons have sleep. That's not good. I really dislike the whole take a step and immediately immediately get into a fight thing. I'm glad, like, I don't mind random encounters in general in RPGs. I think they can be done well, but I'm really glad we've kind of... <sighs> well, there goes, uh, 3,400 gold, 35... Almost 3,600 gold. Because I couldn't run from a red dragon. And I was out of magic points. <sighs> and I just realized I've been muted this whole time. Or I haven't been muted. The game sound effects have been muted. No, no I know there's no door here. I knew one of these chests had some gold in it. Right, let's try to ward off some of these trash mobs. I 
Why does a werewolf hurt more than a wolf lord? Shouldn't the lord be the top tier? Forty-four hit points. Jesus. Well, there's that strength HP build starting to kick in. My God. I mean, I had more hit points and magic points before, but now it's been taken to an, an absurd extreme. All right, can I make it to? Uh, Rimbledar this time? Oh yeah, I forgot that I've been to, been to Rimbledar. Maybe this is where the broadsword and stuff was. No? Oh yeah, I guess this isn't just Ultima 1, it's Ultima Yoru Eikoku. Which must be a, uh, a spin-off game of some sort. I mean, every, every track that I've heard from it, it's been kind of a jam. I might as well buy the full plate. There's no reason not to. Because I'll still be able to, to buy the broadsword when I find it. And buy the broadsword and the large shield if I find them. Wolf. Quote unquote lord. I'm done with these single step encounters. Like, please, just give me some peace. I guess it was necessary in Vanilla Dragon Quest where an insane amount of grinding is required Have I been in this cave? No, this is Erdrick's cave Haven't been here yet Well, at some point I need to search uh, Garenham's grave again, or, or Garen's grave in Garenham. Now that I have a key, I can open that door, go to the next floor, see what's in that last chest. Dragon scale. Not helpful. Need to sell that and the curse belt next time I'm in town. Stone men still quite a threat. Goldman, not so much. If I need to cast the... Don't attack me every single step spell.
Alright, this has to be coal, right? Yeah. And there's probably something on the search bot, right? Verdict's armor. Not bad. Sucks that I, I don't get to sell my... the full plate that I just bought. It just equips Erdrick's armor over that armor, and it's just lost. Forever. Okay, well, buy a large shield. See if I can navigate my way to, to the item shop. Oh, the NPCs actually decided to, to be considered this time. And I'll sell this fighter's ring. I don't need the two points of attack anymore. Oh, no, no longer have to worry about swamp damage. That's nice. Makes exploring a little bit easier. So I've been just about everywhere. Yeah, Hurtmore is not so bad now that I have Erdrick's armor. Yeah, I've been just about everywhere, but I still haven't like to every location, but I still haven't found Charlock. These things still hurt kind of badly. Hmm. Wonder if there's a way to get up there, or, or, or if that's just a. A weird little empty continent. I kinda wish there was a world map I could bring up. Just to see like the geography of this place. Yeah, I don't know why I'm looking there. There's nothing I need to buy other than the silver shield and maybe the flame sword if it takes me too long to find Erdrick's sword. Things are tedious. Like, 
Like, I'd, I'd almost rather fight golems. Just so I don't have to worry about damage immediately upon waking. Miss! Wrong thing. I've still never found a broadsword. I mean, I guess there's no rule that says every item has to be for sale. Hmm. Oh well. Okay, well, I think I need to return to the previous continent. Because I still need to see what's on the, the search spot in Sherlock, and I still need to see what's in that other chest in, in Garen's grave, and I don't really remember where either one is. Oh right, I was at full HP because I'm I'm wearing the armor and it uh, it replenished me. Yeah, I should probably like make a very rudimentary map as I play. Like it wouldn't be possible for me to like accurately map everything, but like at least draw or write sort of where things are in really in relation to each other all right was this garen's grave it is right yeah cuz i start there okay yeah. Wait, no. Shit. I'm so bad at this. No, this is the mountain cave. I've gotten everything there is to get here. Okay. I know, Gar I know Garen's grave is close by there, though. I think it might be this cave down here. Yes. Okay. Was the town next to the sh Sherlock? Hmm. 
I think it might have been. Uh, so I want to go... No, I don't want to go in here. I want to go over and around. Not in there. Have I fought a Droll Magi yet? Oh, now I have. Gotten pretty lucky with uh, with with enemy abilities. Like I don't think I've seen anything with Dragon Lord Breath yet. So wow, it feels like Radiant isn't lasting as long as it should. Wait a sec. The map I was just looking at says that there's a staircase here. That's weird. Maybe that's not a thing in Randomizer for some reason. Oh yeah, that's right, there's two chests in here. I'd like to eventually get to the point where, where I don't need a map, which is why I'm sort of trying to force myself to to get through without a map like I don't have it on the screen the entire time as I'm traversing like I'd like to get to a point where I sort of don't need it and I've like I've I've learned the layout Wait. Okay, yeah. So I, I do need to come to this floor, floor because there is a chest here which might have a critical item. Hey, you've hurt me plenty. You don't have to keep hurting more. Gold. Well, heck. Boy, they sure don't make Radiant spells like they used to. Okay, so now... It's just a matter of... Going down here. I don't know if I remembered to, to get that first treasure chest from the last run. It's a good thing there was nothing important in it.
Okay, and there's only one other staircase I could take here. And it is up here. Let's not play it. I will say the number of surprise rounds has gone down. It's been a little bit more fair with that. Wings. Not something I needed. Okay, yeah, this is Sherlock. Golem! 38 damage! Good lord. Right, I need to mute it now. Alright. That was a pretty good golem fight. Night without an axe. Alright, I've ar already forgotten what's guarding this space. Was it a red dragon? I hope not. Not, not this space. A few spaces from now. Dang, getting lucky with that fairy flute. Hey, level up. 30 magic points? Holy crap. Maybe this isn't a strength HP build. Maybe the, the thing that I use to determine what stats I can get based on my name lied to me. Then again, I don't know what it considers short-term or long-term, right? Like, maybe the long-term game gains just haven't kicked in yet. I don't know. I don't know how it, how it works. Yeah, it was a red dragon. That's a shame. Nothing works on the red dragon. I'm not gonna bother looking it up. I'm just gonna have to tank my way through this. Ooh! Got a crit, that helps. Silver Harp. All right. Now we're getting somewhere. Where was the guy who needs this, the Silver Harp? I have no idea. Once I do that, I still have an I still have to find the guy who gives me the the uh the rainbow drop. And I still have to find Sherlock. I haven't found Sherlock yet. This might be another three hour seed for me. Leave me the effing bleep alone. I'm trying to access the deepest recesses of, of my memory to figure out where stuff is. 
All right, yeah. I always do that. I always step off of the stairs and back on, as, uh, as if that'll take me out of, out of the dungeon. That's not how it works. I have to go into the menu and use the stairs command. Your damage range in this is just extremely wide. Like I did 17 points damage and, and then I did 30 damage. I mean, it's not as bad as like Fatal Labyrinth. But it's still a pretty, pretty wide margin. I thought it might actually let me run without having to put it to sleep first. Now that I have a bit more agility, but no. Wow, that was a lot of coin flips in a row I just lost. Nice. Yeah, I don't know how people who race this game keep everything straight in their heads. It's just not a skill that I really have. I thought that was something useful. Okay, well, I want to check something real quick. What was in here? was the mountain cave. Yeah. Try to stop my spell. What do you think that's going to accomplish, Scorpion? Yeah, I guess I'm going to have to take notes for each one of these that, that I play just because I'm so bad at, at remembering stuff. I mean, it seems like it would be a lot of time to take notes, but ultimately, ultimately it's going to be less time 
then it would take me to revisit every location. Alright, so this is the guy. Okay. So once I have the staff, I come back to the the Garenham dungeon. Gonna use this fairy water I just I just found. All right, that's that's Florida. I do remember that because of my hilarious joke. I guess I just need to make a, a hilarious joke about every location. That's Breconary. Nothing important there. Get the heck out of my way, Magidrakis. Another big problem is that I just don't know what part of the world I have unexplored at this point that, you know, could be where Sherlock is. This, this cave looks promising. Yeah, okay. Alright, so now I just need, need to go back to Garenham. Cause that, I mean, that has to be the Staff of Rain. There's nowhere else it could be. So I have to go back, I have to go back to Garenham. But I should try to figure out where Sherlock, Sherlock is first. Because I know where Garenham is, that, that's easy to find. I just warp back to Tantagel. And then I go east. But where the heck is Sherlock? These red dragons are not helping me find a Sherlock. Like, I wonder how bulletproof the, the map generation algorithm is. Like, is it possible for a, a location to be like somewhere inaccessible just because you know there was a there's a bug with the algorithm and it just doesn't have a land bridge where where it needs one i mean i assume the algorithm is pretty much foolproof at this point cuz people Oh, and the blue dragon has, has heal more. Great. Can I hurt more a blue dragon? I can. Okay. I think it has some some amount of res resist to that. But yeah, like people race this game. They play it competitively. The the randomizer program is like very mature at this point 
like all of the changes or like adding features and you know minor bug fixes but like world generation I imagine it's, it's pretty locked down wait is there like way more of the world to the south than I thought there was Oh. Well, there's Sherlock. It's way down there. How the heck do I get there? Like, it's way to the southeast. I mean, I guess I have to go to the other continent, right? Because there's no land bridge here. Well, first... Before I forget... Busy stone man. I didn't mean to fight. How much gold do I have? Nine thousand? Right, this the shop doesn't have anything. I mean, I might as well buy the flame sword, I guess. This isn't music. Come on, Super Nintendo. How long is this track? A minute and a half. I don't need to listen to wind for that long. away. So this treasure chest behind this guy is just for show. Alright, I have the rainbow drop. Now all I have to do is figure out how to get to Sherlock and see if I can survive. I feel like my points and strength are both, both higher at this point than they were during my last run. So maybe this this is a strength HP build. No, not the fairy flute. Well, sell the wings. So Erdrick Sword might actually be in its vanilla location, which is the treasure chest in Sherlock. I might have to go hunting for it. Or I might be able to kill the demon lord with, with just the flame sword. Because if I remember correctly, the actual attack difference between the Flame Sword and, and Erdrick Sword isn't that much.
Forgot to re-up my repel. Final battle. No, I'm not there yet, SMT. I'll fight a dragon. Oh, right. You can put me to sleep. That's a bummer. At least it only casts hurt, though. Hard to believe that Shin Megami Tensei got its start on the NES. I think this track is for the SNES remake of the original Shin Megami Tensei. Or maybe it was just Mega Megami Tensei at that point. Before they added the ten the the Shin. But it was it was originally an, an NES game. I really hate, like, the constant interruptions when I have a goal I'm trying to accomplish. It's just so obnoxious. But yeah, we didn't get a, a Shin Megami Tensei game in English until the PlayStation 2 is crazy to think about. Three generations later, the series existed in Japan but not here. Where is Breconary? Like, I thought it was up in the sandy corner. I meant to run. I'm so sick of this encounter rate. Like, I must have gotten too used to the encounter rate in the Super Famicom remake. Like, I'm casting re Repel, and the encounter rate is still insufferable. Because I was in a section of the map where it was all strong enemies. Because I thought that's where Breconary was. Do I have to go through the tunnel first?
No, this is this is Cantlin. Probably just as I mean, might as well be Cantlin, right? One of these shops sells the flame sword. And I will take it. That's all I wanted. Like a town where I could buy the flame sword. I thought that might have been Breconary. And I thought Breconary was you know northwest part of that that continent, but apparently not. Okay, let's see if I can figure out where the hell Sherlock is now. I mean, it has to be accessible on this continent somehow. Yep, there it is. I just never, never came down this way. Because I didn't know where this continent is in relation to the other one. Well, I mean, at least Sherlock is close to a town. Close-ish. Alright, I'm going to mute it for a second. I don't need to listen to the rainbow drop music. I just bought the flame sword as, as a backup in case I don't find... Uh, in case I don't find Erdrick's sword. Because it's got to be in the castle somewhere. Oh wait, the golem does get in it. Get in an attack when it wakes up. I thought you could sleep off the golem. Like I thought that was the whole point of the point of the fairy flute. Maybe it only works that way in the remake. I guess there are more differences between this version and the remake than, than I thought there were. <sighs> I don't think I'm going to be strong enough to kill the Dragon Lord. I don't know. My, my attack power is, is pretty good. I don't think Erdrick's sword is necessary for killing the final boss, but I do think the armor is a must-have, if for no other reason than so you don't have to deal with all, all of these damage tiles. But also, I just think that it would do way too much damage if you, uh... Oop. If you didn't have it. Because the, the difference between, um... Magic Armor and Erdrick's Armor is higher than much higher than the, the difference between the flame sword and, and Erdrick sword, I think. I'm glad it's letting me run from the golems instead of wasting a turn using the flute. Oh, there's no point in repelling, because it doesn't work in dungeons. There is an optional flag that makes repel work in dungeons, which honestly I'm thinking about using it. Like, repel... Like, it doesn't make the game easier, because you're really just denying yourself experience. It's, it's just a way to eliminate tedium. Like, not, not being able to repel in dungeons, it's not like a fun challenge. Alright, so now I... Slay a dragon. I feel like I'm doing better... 
than I was at this point in the last seed. Not doing better about getting an encounter every single stuff, that's for sure. Okay, so from here, I want to go around through this one. Yeah, I, I say the Dragon Lord's Castle was probably the layout that I know the best, just because I've run through it so many more times due to failing and having to come back and run through it again. Oh, come on, Red Dragon. Alright, so left goes... Hmm, left go... I had a mnemonic for this. Left for the Lord, south for the sword. I'm gonna have a Kel. I swear to god, this encounter rate is driving me insane. I'll fight the Star Wyvern, because I can maybe kill it in two hits. Nope. Alright, what you got for me, chest? Must have been an herb. Well... Oh. I didn't mean to use the herb. I guess that, that is a potential way to save a few magic points before I fight the Dragon Lord. I didn't figure out that was an option. Dodging! Oh, I need to put my sound effects back on. Left for the Lord. Armored Knight. I feel like I haven't fought one of these in a while. I feel like there's a good reason for that. The Dragon Quest games are pretty varied when it comes to encounter rates. Like, my favorite game in the series, 7, one of the reasons it's my favorite is because I feel like the encounter rate is balanced. Like, it's not frustrating. You get encounter- I mean, it has random encounters, but I don't feel like they're they're just constantly assaulting you, but I don't feel like you have to like do a bunch of grinding either. Like I feel like there's a good balance there. Um, of course, in Dragon Quest Eleven, there aren't random encounters at all, so there isn't an encounter rate per se. 
which is one of, one of the things that makes Eleven one of the best games in the series. Probably, probably my second favorite after Seven. I don't want to fight a red dragon. Or an armored knight. What part of or an armored knight do you not understand? Making me waste magic on you. I figure one of these has to be Erdrick's sword. Yeah, there it is. So not in the vanilla spot, but but it, it was in the Dragon Lord's castle. I'll be danged. My attack now. 141? I, I probably got this. I feel confident about my chances. I say as I get nuked by a golem. I wonder why the rainbow drop stays in my inventory. Like that bridge is there forever now. It has no use other than to take up an inventory slot. I mean, what else do I really need, I guess? Is this a, is this a trap tile? No, okay. Is this a trap tile? I thought there was a trap tile in- Yeah, there is. It's this one. Okay. You can tell because the screen fades to black before- Uh, before it continues because it has to push me back onto the square I was just on. No effect? What I thought. Would you please just let me kill your master? Alright, I'm not too worried about my... about my MP use here. But I might, might as well use the herbs if I have them. Alright. Blah blah blah, Dragon Lord, King of Kings. Yes, I'll stand with you. No, not really. I'm a fool. You're the one who believed me. Two shot the uh, the first form of the Dragon Lord. I feel like that's a good sign. Seventeen damage, decent. All right, heal more. Went ahead and try to get myself back up to full here. Not super appropriate music for a final boss. Let's see if I can find something something more appropriate here. Uh let's see. Boss battle with dragon. Two. That seems a little too appropriate. Dang, should have played this from the beginning. Thou hast done well in defeating the Dragon Lord. Uh, let me find uh, some good victory music here. Uh. I'm about to propose to Waylon, or she's about to propose to me.
Yeah, this is pretty appropriate. I never talked to the people of Cantlin. Are they just gonna have the same stuff to say that the people in Garenham did? That was brought us peace again? Interesting. When was the first time? Yeah, shopkeepers won't sell you items after you beat the Dragon Lord. Which means if you're out of MP. Well, also you, you can't stay in an inn, right? After you beat the Dragon Lord? Yeah. So if you're out of MP, you just gotta hoof it back to the castle. Because you can't cast return. But I can't cast return. Wait, did it refill my magic points? Oh, interesting. It doesn't do that in the Super Famicom remake. Because when I killed the Dragon Lord, I was totally out of magic. So I had to go back through the... Uh, the cave, the mountain cave, and since I didn't have a torch, uh, and I didn't have magic points, I had to do it in the dark. You know, that's how I figured out how to get through that, that passage in the dark. Huh. But in this one, it actually refills your MP, which is smart. Alright, well, I kind of blew past the mirror's proposal music, but, uh... That's okay. Thou art indeed of the line of Erdrich. Oh, right. Wait, so that when they say that I save them again, do they think I'm Erdrich? Like the reincarnation of Erdrich? Or... I'm not sure. Hmm, let me think about it. Oh, the princess doesn't show up. That's another difference between this and the remake. In the remake, the princess just kind of appears. Okay, well, better time than last time. Even with a slower start. I did a little less fooling around this time than I did in the first run. Like, again, I'm not speedrunning, I'm not, you know, I'm not trying for a good time necessarily, per se. You know, but I do want to just improve overall in my ability to do, do things quickly. Like, not not like frame perfect menuing and I don't want to like like I don't want to not have fun with it you know if it means wasting time talking to people or you know cracking jokes or what or whatever you know I don't want to not do that because I want to have fun with this but I don't want to spend a lot of time you know going in circles trying to find stuff Revisiting areas that I don't need to like I, I would like to get better at Remembering things and having a better s mental picture of the world a better sense of where where everything is Just in general not for not not because I want to be competitive, but you know just for me Alright, well that is two successful seeds. Thanks everyone for watching. I'm having fun doing this. And I'll probably take a break as far as recording videos of this. Uh, I think two is enough for now, so I will get back to something. Not sure what, what that'll be yet, but Stay tuned, and I will see you soon. Bye everyone.